Okay, I'm calm now, y'all. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to do none of that. I can tell y'all my story better than because I was just so upset. I've been upset since yesterday. I ain't moved out my bed. I've been crying. But this is my story from yesterday. Uh, me and my cousins decided to go bowling, and I decide after we leave bowling to catch another ride. So my ride told me they'd be there in seven minutes, so I leave the bowling alley, and the bowling alley was Diversity Bowling Alley, and we was on Western and Diversity. So I leave the bowling alley, and we all by, you know what I'm saying, I wait on the bus stop, my ride said they'll be here in seven minutes. So I go sit on the nearest bus stop on Western, and it was a bar behind the bus stop. And I had been seeing a white car with the man drive past in it, and then the car followed me, and he went inside the bar, so I wasn't thinking nothing of it. I'm thinking like he just was looking for a parking spot to go in the bar. And I sit on the bus stop for a good three minutes, I can say three minutes. And a white lady comes out the bar. I don't know who she is. I, don't, I had no clue. I didn't see her when I walked up. I didn't see her, none of that. And she grabbed my hand and she said, Baby, I need you to get up off this bus stop. I called you an Uber, and it's five blocks down. I want you to get up, and I want you to go five blocks down and get in the Uber. You are in the most racist neighborhood in Chicago. This bar behind you is a racist bar, and everybody in this bar is talking about coming out here and killing and raping you, baby. I want you to get up right now, and I want you to go five blocks down. This the Uber waiting on you. So I really, you know, I was scared, but I got up, and as I think six, White men with bald heads and all type of cool cuts, clear tattoos on the back of their necks and their head come out the bar. It caught my attention, and she was pushing them. Like, it hit me so hard that all I can do was cry and run. Like, I cried and I ran for my fucking life to know, like, these six men are coming to kill me because I'm black. Because I'm black, and then and, and I'm in. I was born and raised here. I was not. I never lived nowhere else but Chicago. I'm born and raised here, and I had to watch my back, and I had to run for my life. I had to bang on some Chinese man, though, because I knew he was an Uber driver, and he let me in, and he took me home, and I had to pay this man sixty dollars, and I couldn't do nothing but sit in the house in the tub and cry, knowing that I was just gonna die. It's bigger shit going on out here. Y'all don't even know that I would never took life as serious as I'm going to take it now. As young as I am, I party, I play, I laugh. I do all types of shit that a young girl growing up and need to learn life do. But when that shit just hit me, this life is not no fucking joke, y'all. I just literally almost lost my life by the cool cuts clan. They is out here. This shit is real. Fuck the next nigga and the next motherfucker that's gonna have something to say or gonna kill me. I gotta watch out for this white motherfucker when I'm on a bus stop because they trying to kidnap me, kill me, rape me. And the next white motherfucker had to tell me what's going on. Y'all don't understand. Y'all out here killing each other, doing all this, but I... Y'all gotta stop. This racism shit is real. And the whole point of it all, and what I haven't even told y'all, is the fucking police was sitting right on the corner. They watched everything. Chicago Police Department was right on the corner. I was on Western and Diversity up north. They sat right there, and they watched them chase me. Six white men chased me and tried to kill me last night. If it wasn't for that white lady pushing them, or even letting me know what was going on, I could have been dead. I only sat on that bus stop for three minutes. My ride was making it down seven. My ride would have got there and I would have been gone somewhere. And nobody would have ever knew what was going on. Appreciate y'all lives. Because this shit is fucking real. Y'all don't even understand. For real, for real. I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm just, I thank God. Like, y'all just don't know. If I ain't never appreciate being alive, I appreciate that shit when I see my life flash before my eyes. I already lost the cousin to racism. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not taking this shit. I'm not finna sit around while these white motherfuckers keep trying to kill everybody. I have asked no young girl, no black men, nobody of any black nature, Mexican, Hispanic, to go over there. Because I almost died.
They was after me. And you never know. The next motherfucker that go sit on that bus stop, it may, it may not be a white lady to help you. It may not be a white lady to tell you what's going on in that bar and they finna kill you. It may not be that. I don't know what to tell y'all, how to prove to y'all that this shit is real, but I spelt that shit out for myself. I almost lost my life, and I swear to God, I appreciate it. But I will never go my ass up north on Western University again, and I'm telling every black motherfucker, every Mexican motherfucker, anybody that's not white, these motherfuckers is racist. Don't go right there. You not gonna make it. You might not make it. You might not live to tell this story, but I live to tell this story, and I'm telling y'all now. So I don't know what y'all gonna do. Anybody from Chicago, share this. If you live up north, share this. Because this shit is real. They had tattoos, Ku Klux Klan tattoos, and they was after my ass. And I thank God. I thank God I got a home to come to. And the family that love me and that pray over me every day I walk out the house. And I appreciate it so much. But any one of my friends that's following me on Facebook right now that love me, that pray over me when they know I just be out here... I learned my lesson. You got to watch. It's, it's, it's real. Like, racism is out here. We worry about the wrong shit. We worry about killing each other. We worry about who we in tour with. When it's the white motherfuckers that's killing us left and right. Period. And they don't get no fuck. The police sat out there and let them white men chase me. I'm a young girl, and they let them white men chase me. Because I looked like this. Because I had a bandana on my head, and I had my hair in a ponytail. They just knew I was a nigga. If it went for that white lady, I wouldn't be here. And I swear to God, if I ever meet that white lady, if I ever meet